Hello right, guys, well I've been experimenting um, while well, trying to design the Bedini motor which is um, pretty good mechanical torque and uh, the MG2 seems to be uh, pretty good uh, this is a fan I've attached to the axle which is from the 120mm um, DC cooling fan and this is um, the original fan here, you can see it's um, wearing away and uh, this is what the fan's drawing, it's uh, 416 milliamps and um, I've added this um, this block at the back of it just uh, for fair results because um, obviously it's going to be a bit more um, wind resistance at the back of it because on this one also because of the way it's spinning it's blowing onto the back of the MG2 so I've actually positioned this the same distance from the fan as I have on this one so just for fair comparison results um, whoops, turned it off maybe yeah, two seconds Right, pretty much back up to speed. Now I've got my tachymeter here, so we'll see how fast it's going. So it's around 3,050... Yeah, around 3,050 RPM for 416 milliamps. And as I said, I've got exactly the same fan. I took it off the same model. Uh, so on the MG2, so we'll just turn this off. Don't need that anymore. And I'll hook up the MG2 and we'll see how it compares. Okay, it's going to take a little bit longer to um, get up to speed than the original fan because um, the flywheel is obviously a lot heavier. This is a true RMS meter, by the way, so it should give me um, a pretty accurate reading on the um, on the inputs for the MG2. And I've tuned it so that it's um, running on approximately the same power as um, this fan was. Looks like it should be the speed. So it's hard to keep, uh, keep it still. Yeah, so about three thousand and seventy. RPM for pretty much the same current draw. So it's actually producing the same amount of mechanical work as a standard um, uh, brushless motor, which uh, are generally considered to be around 85% efficient mechanical. So, uh, yeah, the MG2 is, uh, does appear to be pretty much um, as mechanically efficient as a standard DC fan.